Making a map in GimKit is awesome. It's so interactive and there's so many options that you can actually go about. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So stick close and let's jump into it. So let's go and make a map here in GimKit. From this homepage, you're going to go up to the top right hand side and you're going to click on creative. And from here, you are going to go into the mind maps and create a new map. Now, it is my advice to go and do the tutorial so that you can understand how to actually use the map builder. But for now, we're going to click on create new map here. You are going to enter a map name. I'm going to name it Antarctica. And there are two different styles that you can use. It's the top down. So you can see that players move in all four directions and then the platformer, which allows players to move left and right. And then you can also jump. I'm going to use the top down and click on create and give it a few seconds. So here we are in our map and there's a few things we can do here on the top left. You can erase items that you've put down. Uh, then you also have your layers where you can actually manage all the layers on your map. On the bottom left, you'll have options and here we have possible map options. So here you can change the background terrain, the game clock, music tracks, and you can also allow solo play. There's also a couple other options such as team options, health and shield options, your score options and then your item options you can see that there's quite a few things for you to go ahead and customize completely you can also go here and just click on all options it'll show you all of the options available and you can go ahead and change all of this to your liking let's go back out of here and then you also have editing options here you can change your player speed camera zoom um, collision grid snap and a few other things once you go out of here, there are um, a few other options here. The uh, showcase and save, you can you can showcase and save your map. You can also publish your map and then you can manage all of your permissions here. So um, who will be able to do what? You can save that all over here. So once you've pretty much done all of the customization of the settings, you can go to the top right hand side and click the plus icon. The plus icon will allow you to add items such as terrain, props, devices, and wires to connect your devices. So let us click on devices, for example, and let us choose a device that we would like to add onto our map. So you can see there are quite a few. We're going to just go ahead with the um, starting devices and let's see. Let's do a trigger. Now, as you can see, I have it in my cursor and you can go and click anywhere on the map to place it. Okay, great. Once you put your mouse cursor over it as well, you've got the option to click on it, to modify it, M to move it and C to copy it. If you'd like to make multiple, let's go ahead and put another device down here. Uh, let's do interactive devices and let's go pop up. All right, here we go. Let's do a pop up and there it is. That's awesome. Now you can go ahead also and customize it. And we're going to click on the plus icon again. We're going to go and we're going to go out of devices and we're going to say wires. And over here you can connect so you can add wires. So let's go ahead and select the trigger. This one here. That's awesome. And you can see there's a wire and let's connect it. There we go. This is now connected. So you can see over here when this event occurs, you can go ahead. This is the trigger and the pop up. You can run this action. So either it opens, closes or it runs a wire pulse block. So each and every one of these options fully customizable. You can choose accordingly. Once you're done and you've played around with uh, the building of the map, you can go ahead and click on the start game. And if you want anybody to join your map, you can go up here. There's a join code and um, whoever wants to join can just dial that in when opening up GimKit. I hope this was helpful.